Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another PSA Mail Day. Uh, I think I have about 30, maybe a shade over 30 cards to show you today. As usual, I'm quick, so keep up. Uh, this is a pretty interesting little lot. This is a bunch of raw cards that me and a good collector buddy of mine here in town picked up. It was a raw collection, and these are just a couple of them that we decided to grade with the uh, value service. So first one is a 2002 Upper Deck Sweet Shot Kevin Garnett Jersey Patch Card. Pretty cool, game worn, um, not serial numbered. It's been so long since I sent these off, I don't remember, but not serial numbered, came back PSA 9, not too bad. Kobe Bryant, 1996 Hoops Rookie, got a nine. Again, none of these are huge cards, but they're all still pretty cool. Some of these we'll keep in the collection. Some of these we'll put up for sale. Really happy about this one. I like this card. Let me know if you guys think it's cool. Obviously, it's a see-through translucent kind of deal, acetate. Uh, 2002 Upper Deck Glass Auto Focus. Uh, it's not autographed. It's just Auto Focus. That's kind of the name of the subset. And it's a sample version, so a little bit different. It's the sample parallel. Um, I don't know anything about this product. Maybe somebody can comment below and let me know more about it. I just knew when I saw it, it looked clean. It was worth grading. Happy to get it back in a PSA 10. I didn't even go look at the pop, so uh, I don't collect Kobe. So almost all of these Kobe's are going to be for sale if I don't sell them to a local Kobe collector here in town that I know. Uh, really shocked this one got an eight. I thought it was better than an eight. In fact, I know it's better than an eight. This is just another one of those deals where, um, you know, they've put the clamps down on Jordan stuff. Like Jordan stuff's just not going to grade. You can always count on one, usually two grades below what you think it is. So whatever you think it is, just subtract one and a half, and that's kind of your over under. Uh, 97 Skybox Z Force got an eight. Cool looking base card for Jordan though. Uh, right here, Shaq, same thing, 97 Skybox Z Force. This one gets a nine. I'll probably keep this little little guy in my collection. You guys know that I do collect Shaq, so happy to add that one. These, I'm really pissed because I sent two of these. We'll see the other one coming up, but I thought these were definitely nines with a chance at 10, which is really rare because it's die cut and it's just tough to keep those corners sharp without whitening. They look sharp to me. I thought this was a pretty good chance of, uh, you know, the surface is also an issue with this hologram type stuff, but uh, I'm trying to move it around so y'all can kind of see what the card's all about. But it's a 97 SPX die cut Kobe Bryant. It's a base card. I know it looks crazy, but it's a base card. Uh, SPX is just a really cool product with a bunch of intricate die cuts out there. Uh, maybe some creasing issues up here, which is not uncommon on these cards. And then maybe down here as well, I see a little bit of creasing. So that probably accounted for the eight, or at least it was a large part of it. Uh, I got a couple of Iverson rookies. There's going to be a little heavy dose of Iverson in here. Again, pick these up for absolute pennies on the dollar. PSA 9, 9, and 9. Those are the 96 hoops Iversons. Uh, again, these don't mean quite what they did about 18 months ago, but... Uh, they're in hand. I'll put them on eBay or put them in the PWCC Weekly or something like that and sell them. Two more Iversons. Uh, the cards looked very similar to me. <laughs> one of them got a 10, which I was happy about, and one of them got an 8. But this is the 1996 SP Rookie. Uh, Premier Prospects, Iverson, um, 8 and a 10. I, I just, without a jeweler's loop, I don't have it in front of me, and I'm not going to get into all the details. This is not a... Uh, PSA gripe session. This is just to, to show you guys what results I got and the types of cards that I was sending off to PSA. Can't remember what I paid for these cards. I really cannot remember. Um, but it was definitely value pricing. A 96 Skybox Premium. So a little bit bigger, right? This is bigger than the SP. I think part of the reason these cards don't grade well is you see this foil stamp where it's Skybox Premium. It's very hard to keep that intact. If the cards have been stuck together like in a long white box with other cards, you can keep the corners and the edges looking good. Uh, but that stamp and that um, is just really, really hard uh, to keep clean. It just kind of rubs off and decays. And as you can tell, that's definitely part of this. I got to believe the centering is the reason. I'm sorry, the surface is probably the reason that card got a nine. Uh, got a couple of MJs that I actually knocked out of the park. Check this out. So 2002 Upper Deck Glass. I think it's a cool MJ card. I like the MJ Wizards cards because they're affordable. If you want to collect MJ on a budget, go look at his stuff for the Wizards in 2001, 2002. Uh, this is Upper Deck Glass, PSA 10. Upper Deck Glass, Gem Mint 10. Upper Deck Glass, Gem Mint 10. So thrilled with that. One of these I'll keep in my collection because I don't have it. The other two I'll probably move along and try to sell uh, Kobe Bryant, same exact base card, number 34, PSA 10, PSA 10. So thrilled with those. Yes, uh, I am actually finally having some luck with PSA. 
and then SP Authentic Base. I got a nine and a 10, which I am absolutely perfectly fine with, right? Uh, 2002, it's, God, I can't believe it's a 20 year old card now. Uh, needed this one in my collection, I'll add that to my collection as well. My little Jordan Wizards collection will be growing, and that's nice, and I'm happy about it. Split on these Kobe Bryants as well, card number 37 from SP Authentic. One PSA 10, one PSA 9. Pretty cool card. Uh, SP Authentic was really, really cool back in the early 2000s. I know it got kind of cheap and uh, overprinted around Giannis's year, because those rookies are worth uh, not very much because there's so many of them, but back in 2002, SP Authentic was a pretty big product, and they had some really big, uh, really big hits in those packs. Uh, Shaq SP Authentic also got a 10. Uh, this one's actually serial numbered 1909 out of 2000. I don't know if y'all can see that serial number stamp right there. 1909 out of 2000. So happy to add this Shaq SP Authentic. Any serial numbered card that comes back PSA 10, I feel like it's a win. Not a huge card here. Not worth selling. Uh, I need it, so I'll just throw it in my collection. And then this J.R. Smith, oh wait, that's not J.R. Smith. Uh, Kobe Bryant, 2002 Upper Deck Sweet Shot Kobe Bryant in the Minneapolis Retro Throwback Uniforms. Pretty cool card, a little bit different. Upper Deck Sweet Shot was another really cool product that uh, Upper Deck had back in 2002. Uh, this card got a PSA 10 as well. So as you can see, I'm doing much better than I normally do with PSA. Uh, Kobe Bryant Skybox Premium Rookie PSA 10. Really cool card here. Now look, this one uh, on the Skybox Premium uh, you know, foil stamp, it also has that kind of like surface rub, right? So it's not perfect either, but this one somehow snuck through the cracks and got a 10. This foil stamp is actually better and it looks like it's perfectly intact. Do you see the difference there? And this one got a nine, right? So they let this stamp uh, you know, slip through the cracks. I don't know if y'all can see that. Do, do you see how it's kind of worn off on there? It's how, I'm trying to get the glare right so y'all can see it right there. See it right there? It's not perfect, but this one got a 10. The other one got a nine. So it is what it is. Again, I don't collect Kobe, so all these Kobe's are gonna be for sale somewhere. If you watch this video and you're interested, let me know. Another 96 hoops uh, split here, PSA 10 and PSA 9. Happy about those. Always take a 9-10 split, always, always, always. This is the one that I was really hoping would be a 10 because I just love these Z-Force. Of all the base Kobe rookies out there, this one kind of appeals to me and calls to me. It's just a really good looking card. Uh, got a PSA 9. The Ultra is a big one, right? This is a, got that beautiful gold cursive script down there at the bottom, uh, Ultra Fleer up here, uh, foil stamp, you know. This is a, a just a really badass. For a base card, these just kind of pop, right? And he's doing that reverse layup. Um, you know, got an eight on this one, a little disappointed. Would have loved to get a 10 on that card because that's actually a pretty decent sized card if it pops at a PSA 10. Uh, another Kobe Stadium Club, Rookies 2, got a PSA 9. Uh, an SP Kobe Bryant, got a 9. Nothing special here. This is that Premier Prospects, just like the Iversons that we just looked at. And then here's the other um, SPX Kobe die cut base. This one also got an eight. Uh, these are just tough to grade with all the pointy edges and corners and die cuts. And then, um, like I said, the hologram surface is also a pain in the butt. But those cards are really shine, man. I mean, these are just really good looking cards, man. Um, and then lastly, I uh, got a 10 on the 95 Skybox EXL Jordan. There's a, uh, this is the base, right? And it's called the black. And then there's also um, the navy blue, which is the parallel, which I always thought it was odd that 95 Skybox EXL decided that they were going to make a parallel navy blue which looks so similar to black it's hard to distinguish between the two um but uh they did so this is the black version the blue is worth a lot more because it's a lower print run but uh but this card's cool this card's worth a few hundred bucks i've already got it in psa 10 so i'll probably look to sell this card just put it up um you know put it up on ebay with a buy it now or best offer or maybe just a buy it now somewhere near comps at or near comps again if you're interested in any of these cards please reach out to me i'm easy to find i'm cajun cardboard on instagram and facebook or you can just comment or whatever and just get in touch with me i'm not hard to find i try to make myself as available as i can uh, as always thank you guys for watching uh, keep collecting stay positive in the hobby and peace